So the courses are the Higher Cert in Automation and Robotics and the BNG Level 7 in Automation and Robotics. So both of these programs are blended programs. The reason for that is so uh, students can actually get the hands-on skills that are needed in that field. Both of them um, are delivered two days online in the evening, one day on site. For students starting in first year, they would actually study typical engineering uh, subjects. Uh, going from mathematics, but very hands-on again, uh, some things like, for example, electrical science. Then when they start in the uh, second year, uh, they'll go into uh, programmable logic controllers, which are very important to, uh, to that field. A lot of programming as well. And then when they get into their year three, they would be uh, doing more robotics on that side. Um, what's very important about these programs as well, integrated in the programs, they are actually certified training. Uh, weeks in robotics or in uh, PLCs uh, from the actual PLC manufacturer or the robots manufacturing. So that's another advantage of the program. To enter in first year, really, like you know, what the entry requirement is to have an employer, so uh, that you have you are exposed really to uh, automation and robotics in your workplace. So no, no particular entry requirement. Now we have the opportunity for people that are technician in industry and might have a higher certain engineering or might have um, a craft certificate in uh, electrical or any related discipline that they can come straight into a second year, so that's a great advantage. So they can then get their um, higher cert in one year or their BNG in two years. We do a lot of uh, continuous assessment, a lot of practical assessment, so it's a hands-on program, so we really assess students on their hands-on skills. For the program, we have uh, developed an automation and robotics laboratory uh, where we've invested around 1 million euros. We have really fantastic facilities, uh, brand new equipment. Uh, we have uh, five robotic cells, we have cobots, we have mobile platforms, we have uh, virtual reality uh, goggles. We also have uh, pieces of equipment in using Allen Bradley equipment that have been donated by Boston Scientific. Um, Boston Scientific wanted to make sure that people would be trained on the uh, equipment that they use in their company, so they are donating us the actual uh, rigs with the proper equipment. Also, students as part of the program uh, will benefit of um, the thermoking facilities that also have uh, five robotic cells, but also have the same industry standard uh, equipment. So that's what's different about this program.